Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In your reincarnation, let's look at some gameplay and recollections of Dusk, and I want to show off Abstract Griff in particular. Uh, some time ago, he got a buff where the burn status effect would be added to his character skill. And I was like, oh great, this is another Abstract 063Y that I can use in PvE. But unfortunately, he only gets it if he is equipped with a fire main weapon. And so I was thinking, well, I already have 063Y. Why would I ever use Griff? <laughs> but it came in handy here because I want to use Abstract 063Y in the, um, the last battle against himself. And so having uh, Abstract Griff as an option basically gives me another chance to use this strategy, uh, which is to use a bunch of uh, kind of tanky guys with some healing, and then just rely on slow and steady damage from Griff's character skill. I'm also using Dark Memory Marie. She's very beefy. She can definitely uh, last a long while. And then there's Abstract Sadio, who I actually don't know if she's beefy or not. <laughs> but she is a staff user, so we can put the, uh, the fire healing staff on her, get the nice stats, get the healing in. It's good enough for me. And then for like uh, sub weapons, I want a lot of uh, cooldown haste, so I can charge up the uh, weapon skills faster, charge up the character skill faster, and get more burn damage in there. And then like memoirs, I want more uh, HP and defense. And uh, this round of the uh, Recollections of Dusk for 063Y, this is the first stage I've had to play uh, manual to get through it. And it's also the second to last stage on Very Hard, so yeah. They've really kind of lowered the difficulty on this. And uh, I see a lot of people on uh, Japanese Twitter talking about like how much easier it is to play Recollections of Dusk. And for them, I am happy. <laughs> it makes, you know, reading the stories easier, uh, maxing out the weapons and characters easier. But I suffer because if there's only one stage that I can uh, that requires me to play manual, that's not very satisfying to me. But I'll take one for the team. If everyone overall has a better experience with Recollections of Dusk, then that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, I wish Abstract Griff, you know, he had got that burn from his character skill equipped with any element because that would make me use him a lot more often. Except in Recollections of Dusk where we need to uh, stick with characters that are of the certain element type. I still remember when they introduced elements for characters. There was not any for the first two years of the game. And I was like, uh-oh, what are they going to do with this? And uh, yeah, they just made it uh, so that the uh, kind of the character selection was more restrictive for game modes, which I don't like. Okay, but here we are against the boss. And then uh, this boss will do a uh, blind on us sometimes, and that's a uh, another benefit that burn and poison have. Even if your attack misses, the burn or poison will still take. So it doesn't matter your damage output, you can still get the boss's HP down. And then uh, this Sadu and this Griff are funny because I've pulled a lot of kind of older standard pool characters in the last month, two months, and getting them to uh, Awakening 3. So yeah, they're slowly getting stronger. But then without Karma, you know, they'll be a little uh, limited where and how I can use them. I saw a JP YouTuber put up a video looking at um, Clown or Circus Fio, you know, pre and post Karma as an attacker. And she was doing maybe 40, 30, 30% more damage. Uh, with the faster cooldown haste, and then also with the uh, the twenty percent bonus damage from the uh, slot two karma ability. 
So yeah, we are seeing it make a difference. One thing I was thinking about, and we're totally getting off topic here, but... <laughs> One thing I was thinking about is that with the uh, the Karma update to speed up the weapon skills, that might uh, you know have to make people sort of relearn you know their um, their patterns or their techniques for subjugations runs, because it's very uh, timing dependent. And of course, if you screw up your timing on one thing, then it's going to screw up the timing for everything. <laughs> All right, so there, unfortunately, I lost uh, Sadio. This boss doesn't really have like an ultimate attack, but it has, you know, a constant stream of strong attacks, so that's how I lost Sadia. Uh But the only kind of character that is uh, really necessary here is Griff, <laughs> so that he can keep up the damage. Yeah, but very happy to use him here. And then I don't have an attacking uh, Griff for Arena. This abstract one might be interesting because he has passives for both uh, critical rate and critical damage. I have the uh, Lakuma Griff, of course, but I do want to try out this uh, abstract version. <laughs> okay, there goes the boss. Alright, so not a super necessary video to make, but... I had uh, no other topics to uh, go off of, so we had a look at Abstract Griff. Happy to finally get some use out of him. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.